Do you know that India accounts for about a fifth of the global burden of cervical cancer with 1.23 lakh cases and around 67,000 deaths per year? Hello, I am Manas Srivastava and you are watching UPSC Essentials of the Indian Express. And now it's time for the key term of the week. Today, we are going to talk about the term Sarvavac. Let's first understand that what you're going to learn from this video. First of all, why is this term in news? How common is cervical cancer in India? Who developed the new QHPV vaccine? How effective is the new vaccine? What are the challenges? And what next with Sarvavac? We shall take up Anuradha's article from the explained section of the Indian Express. Anuradha uses some expert talk and thus brings more clarity over the issue of cervical cancer and the vaccine. So just don't see it from the perspective of a term that you should know, but an important health issue. So let's begin. Why is this term in news? You must know that the Union Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Jitendra Singh, on September 1, announced the scientific completion of Sarvava, which is India's first indigenously developed quadrivalent human papillomavirus, that is QHPV vaccine, for the prevention of cervical cancer. Despite being largely preventable, cervical cancer is the fourth most common cancer among women globally, according to the WHO. In 2018, an estimated 5,70,000 women were diagnosed with the disease and it accounted for 3,11,000 deaths across the world. Dr. Rajesh Kokhle, who is the Secretary of Government of India's Department of Biotechnology, and chairperson of the Biotechnology Industry Research Assistant Council told the Indian Express that the vaccine would be launched later this year. To quote, as per indications from Serum Institute of India, the cost would approximately between rupees 200 to 400, unquote, he said in an interview. The important question here to understand is how common is cervical cancer in India. India accounts for about a fifth of the global burden of cervical cancer with 1.23 lakh cases around 67,000 deaths per year. Almost all cervical cancer cases are linked to certain strains of HPV, a common virus that is transmitted through sexual contact. While the body's immune system usually gets rid of the HPV infection naturally within two years, in a small percentage of people, the virus can linger over the time and turn some normal cells into abnormal cells and then cancer, according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, that is CDC. Dr. Smita Joshi, the principal investigator for Serum Institute of India, HPV vaccine study, told the Indian Express in July that while cervical cancer is preventable if detected early and managed effectively, it kills one woman every eight minutes in the country. According to Dr. Smita Joshi, screening and vaccination are two powerful tools that are available for preventing cervical cancer. Still, there is a little awareness among women and the prevention of this cancer and less than 10% of Indian women get screened. All women aged 30 to 49 must get screened for cervical cancer even if they have no symptom and get their adolescent daughters vaccinated with the HPV vaccine. A basic information on who developed the new 2-HPV vaccine.
Sarvavak was developed by the Pune based Serum Institute of India in coordination with the Government of India's Department of Biotechnology. The project to develop the vaccine was implemented by the Secretary of DBT, that is Department of Biotechnology, Dr. M. K. Bhan in 2011. Sarvavak received market authorization approval from the Drug Control General of India on July 12th this year. Let's now understand how effective is the new vaccine. And in the process, let's also see a comparison with the COVID vaccine. HPV vaccines are given in two doses. And data has shown that the antibodies that develop after both are administered can last up to six or seven years, according to Rajesh Kokle. Unlike COVID vaccines, booster shots may not be required for the cervical cancer vaccine, he added. Until now, the HPV vaccines available in India were produced by foreign manufacturers at an approximate cost of rupees 2000 to rupees 3500 per dose. Servavac is likely to be significantly cheaper, plated to cost approximately rupees 200 to 400. It has also demonstrated a robust antibody response that is nearly 1,000 times higher than the baseline against all targeted HPV types and in all dose and age groups. When there are opportunities, there are also challenges. So what are the challenges? The biggest task will be in allocating adequate resources and manpower for vaccinating the massive demographic of adolescent girls aged between 9 and 15 to ensure that they are protected from HPV early on. According to Dr. Smita Joshi, there is a huge need for stepping up awareness about the disease and the vaccine in the community. To quote Dr. Smita Joshi, Unlike COVID and the vaccination program, there is very little awareness about cervical cancer. Overall awareness and screening is very low in the community and that is a concern. This is a preventable disease and hence a huge awareness program is required. Uncle. Now let's come to the final question. What next with server value? Experts suggest that school-based vaccination programs will work effectively. Currently, none exist, and therefore planning will have to be done along those lines, said Dr. Joshi. Those assessing public health programs will get the vaccine free of cost at government-aided school. However, concerted efforts will have to be made to ensure the involvement of private healthcare facilities and NGOs towards an effective rollout. You must have wondered that there were so many terms this week in news, but there's a special reason why we have selected this particular term for your knowledge. Health issues, vaccines are important not only for your examination, but for general awareness as citizens, and therefore as future bureaucrats, civil servants, and responsible citizens of society, one must know about them. So start spreading the awareness about cervical cancer from your home itself. This was the key term for today. Here aspirants, as you know, that Indian Express has two important initiatives, UPSC Key and UPSC Essential. To make the best use of them, scan the QR code at the end of this video. Subscribe to the Indian Express to get more such videos. And remember, think smart, work hard, conquer your goals.